Hello, my name is Sasro, and I'll be doing this let's play of this Cydia. Uh, well, what is the Cydia? The Cydia is a Final Fantasy fighting game featuring characters from Final Fantasy. Uh, the most notable rule is that it takes one character from, well, one main character and one villain from a, each Final Fantasy game and piss them against each other. Uh, this is actually the pre-sequel, so there are more characters, uh, which doesn't actually follow this rule. But that's the main gist of it. You Final Fantasy characters, you battle each other. It's, it's pretty fun. So we'll just be creating a new game. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you I mean, the name doesn't really pop up, so it, it's not important. Oops. Let's just say I'm pretty hardcore. Not that I am, but I like to think I am. Uh, let's just go with the action style. RPG mode is not something I've experimented with, so I don't want to try it right now. The standard difficulty is hard enough, so we'll just be going with that. The bonus day is uh, is, extra ex uh, is that you get extra experience when you play on that specific day, on the week. It's to accommodate people who uh, don't play every day, all week, like some sort of bum. Uh, I don't actually have the demo save data. It does unlock something, but since I don't have it, I can't show it off, unfortunately. Cosmos, the goddess of harmony. Chaos, god of discord. Two divine powers locked in an endless struggle, each seeking to reign supreme. Long has the world played stage to their violent conflict. Now at peace, now teetering on the verge of annihilation but never for a moment striking a balance between the two. The scars of war run deep across the realm, and still these battles rage on, a tempest the eons cannot quell. However,
So, just in case you didn't recognize any of those characters, don't worry. I'll be filling in as we uh, as we get to them. So, uh, you might notice that there were some characters who aren't actually a protagonist from the game, if you know of them. And that's because this is, like I said before, the pre-sequel, which added a, a few new characters here and there. One of which is my personal favorite character of all of the characters. But that's getting ahead of ourselves. So have I ever fought the City of Battles before? Eh, uh, yeah. Let's just say that I have. I'll be going over to the tutorial screens pretty fast, so if you want to watch them, you're gonna have to put, pause the video. Alright, so basic the city of combat. Uh, you can double jump, you can move around in this little arena, you can block. Like so, if you block projectiles, they uh, become yours. You can attack like that. Uh, you can dash towards opponents. You can make dodge moves. Like so. So, there are two different kinds of attacks in the city. As you might have noticed, I can uh, I have this number over the blue health bar. And that is my bravery rating. My bravery points. Not rating, but points. Basic to say that more bravery is better because, uh, well, let's see if you can figure it out. Yeah. So that's what bravery does. These things are just something I pick up because uh, they're important later. So what happens if you uh, reach negative bravery? Oops. Come on. Oh, really? Let's try again. There we go. When you uh, make someone go into negative bravery, you break them. When they're broken, whenever they attack with their bravery attacks, you will not lose any bravery, and neither will their HP attacks deal any damage. So, breaking an opponent is, is a really good idea if you can manage it. For now, let's just end this. Like so. Yeah, not much actually since this is a tutorial, but Something's in life you just there you go. So something that was added to uh, uh, to Duodesm, which is the pre-sequel, is the assist system. As you might have noticed, I have a little bar on my HP bar, which is uh, filling up as I'm tagging. It didn't before because it was enabled. Just, uh, yeah, it takes a bite to fill up. I could, this is a really bad tutorial by the way, because I could end the fight right now. But instead of doing that, let's just showcase off the assist system. As you can see, one segment of the bar is filled up. And that means I can use it to summon this guy to help me. He'll only appear for a single attack and then disappear again. There is another use for assists, but it will be really hard to showcase off in the tutorial, so we'll just end it here again. Points for trying. Yep. Thank you, Lightning. I do try. Uh, yeah, um, I have mastered the Cydia. I am the Cydia master. The master of all that is the Cydia. Show me the, show me your best move, game. I can take it. Something's in life you just do. Ah. Uh, okay, I can't take it. I can't take it. Bad feelings. I'm just kidding. Who are you watching? Fuck yeah! Hello okay. game. Who are you watching? So, who is this guy? Well, 
this is actually the secret final boss. And honestly, I'm doing a lot better than I expected. I, uh, I didn't exactly expect to last this long. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh well, okay, yeah, I'm dead. So yeah. I suppose you shouldn't be uh, too prideful. <laughs> yeah. So this is this game way of showing that even though you think you're pretty awesome, you're not. Yeah, don't be too overconfident. But it was actually the first time I lasted that long against them, so... Hooray for me! I don't know what happens if you actually manage to defeat him. Uh... But needless to say, that was sure... That sure was an experience. So, I think this is, uh... I've showcased enough of the game so far to, uh, hopefully entice you. I will be, uh... Well, we'll be going into story mode next time. Where we will be, uh, we'll be playing as Lightning again. But this time I'll actually go into more detail about her and her attacks and a lot of other things. But this is pretty much good for now. So see you next time.